This video will guide you to check if your Linux server is hacked and make your server safe. Step 1. Monitor users' activities. Check the currently logged in user. First, log into your Linux server to view the currently logged in user through the command. Then, go to this site to check the logged in IP address. If there are any unfamiliar IPs, your server may be hacked. Check recently logged in users and IP information. Use the command to view the information of users who have recently logged into the system. Check the bash history. If you suspect a specific user of malicious activity, you can check the bash history. Log in as the user you would like to investigate and run the commands below. Step 2. Check the system process. Check processes with high CPU and memory usage. Use the command top to view the processes that occupy more than 30% of the CPU or memory. If it is not the process you are running, your Linux server may be implanted with malicious programs. Check all processes. View all process information through this command. Check process related files based on PID. Check the files opened by the process by the command. Please replace the PID with the PID number of the suspicious process obtained in the previous steps. If it prompts the command not found error, you need to install LSOF. Check the exe file of suspicious process. Use this command to view the exe file associated with the suspicious process. Make sure to replace the PID with the PID number of the suspicious process obtained in the previous two steps. If you detect any suspicious script file, then your Linux server is probably hacked. Step 3. Check network traffic. If a hacker keeps something in your system for communication or sending messages, you can detect it by monitoring your traffic for unusual activity. Check bandwidth usage. Use this command to monitor the current network traffic. If it prompts the command not found error, you need to install it first. Here you can check all your traffic data. Check listening and active ports. Check the listening and active ports by running the command. In the list of the foreign address, you need to know which ports don't belong to you so you can troubleshoot abnormal ports. Step 4. Check cron jobs. Hackers may place cron schedule tasks cron tab, which will run malicious commands regularly. Use the following command to view the schedule tasks that the current user is running. You can view schedule tasks of other users with this command. To view the daily, hourly, weekly, and monthly cron jobs, use the following command. If you find the cron schedule tasks, you can edit cron jobs by the following command. Step 5. Check rootkits infections. Rootkit is one of the most dangerous threats to devices. It may result in a system reinstallation, or even a forced hardware replacement. There is a simple command, which can help us to detect the most known rootkits. We can install Shrootkit with these commands. We have finished all the tutorials in this video. If you like our video, please give us a like and follow us for more exciting content. Don't forget to leave a comment.